Welcome to Savage Tech Australia. Thanks for joining us today. We have our throttle controllers in stock and we are ready to show you how to install them on the GWM Cannon. Got the nice bull bar with the hoops coming out soon in the background. Got a customer's car here. He's lent it to us to do the quick demonstration video on how to install it. On our throttle controllers, it is three buttons. You've got a mode button and an up and down button. The up and down button controls the different figures between the modes. So you'll have one to nine in each mode. Now, there is 11 modes on this particular Savage Tech Australia throttle controller. So you will have normal mode, anti, auto mode, race mode, parking mode, comfort mode, smart mode, power mode, anti-skid mode, manual mode, sport mode, eco mode. Mate, there is more modes in there that you can poke a stick at. So I'm pretty sure you should be able to find a mode that you're happy with when you're towing or whatever you want. Now throttle controllers, everyone's been asking about them. They want them because they're a, you know, a very popular thing on the market these days. Everyone wants them and um, the good thing about them is they do improve the throttle response, okay? So ours are in stock and um, we're gonna show you how to install them and what they come with. So you are gonna get one throttle controller module, right? The screen, it has a little iPhone connector there that this will plug into. That runs down to under the dashboard. This will plug into the box. Now, two connectors. The original car connector currently, the accelerator pedal. When you locate it at the top of the accelerator pedal, you will see two pins. You will press these two pins, not gender neutral, this thing is female. You will plug it into the female and then you will get the male and plug it back into the accelerator pedal, okay? So you get the male out of that, plug it into the female, and then this will plug back in. So you're pretty much bypassing the stock and then daisy coming through here, okay? So you're creating a loop. Very easy, then you cable tie that under your dashboard. Now I will provide where to locate this in the vehicle now, but down here in the box, you will get a user manual, three cable ties, some primer, and the double-sided tape that's already applied to the back of the little screen, okay? And what you will need for the job is a Phillips screwdriver, an impact drive with a Phillips bit, some side cutters to cut off the cable ties, scissors, whatever you want to use, and a trim removal tool will also come in handy. Okay, so now we're going to take you over to the car and run you through what we're going to do. Okay, so we're over at the car now and we're going to quickly run you through how to disassemble the cannon real quickly and plug in the throttle control. It'll only take you about five to 10 minutes to do it in your home and um, it's not hard at all. So we've got our trim removal tool. We're gonna grab that. Before that, we're gonna come over here and you're gonna see this here. This seal is gonna be pulled back like that. Once you've got the seal pulled back, you're gonna stick your trim removal tool in, okay? And just start prying the, um, the trim away and you're gonna pretty much open the trim up, okay? Grab the trim. Trim pops off, that's your trim. Put that aside. Now you've got access to the two screws here. So you're gonna undo one Phillips screw here, another Phillips screw down here, and then the third Phillips screw is gonna be under here. So under here, we're gonna undo the Phillips screw. You got the third Phillips screw, we've undone. Now we've done that, I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna put the seal out of the way and you can get your fingers and just pry this back open. So, or you can get your trim removal tool and use this, might be a bit easier. Pull that like that, pop that like that. That whole piece will unclip now, okay? Then get your hand, stick it in behind here and pull forward. This whole trim now will fall down. So now you've got access to behind and you can unplug all the connectors on here and get access to behind there so you can get the cables nice and neat behind there. Okay, so now we're gonna disconnect the cable. So there's a little pin over here, you're gonna push that in the corner there. Once you've pushed that, you can pull the, that out. And same with this one little one in the corner and you pull that out and this will fold down, okay? So now we've got a nice clear access behind there and you can run your cable through here. So we are gonna go under here. I'm just gonna disconnect this clip as well. So that one just pulls off. It's like a little it's got teeth on it. And then this is for the interior light on the Canon X. Now we're working on a Canon X. So the Canon L is very slightly different to this vehicle, but they're all virtually the same. Okay, so we're just gonna undo all these, including this one. Now that's out of the way, perfect. So we've got that out of the way. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna get to the accelerator pedal. So what you're gonna need to do is come under here, have a look under here and you were gonna see the connector that I was talking about. So you've got the accelerator pedal, right? 
furthest to the right if you didn't know that. So you can see that clip there. So we're gonna get under here and we're gonna pinch it and we're gonna remove it. Okay, so we've unplugged that, as you can see, very hard to see. You can see that's removed now. And that's the connector. So we've unplugged the connector, now we're gonna get the other harness and plug it into that. Okay, so now we've got our harness here and we're gonna plug that in. So you're gonna get the female and plug it into the male. That's plugged in and then we're gonna go into the top of the accelerator pedal at the top, okay? So you've got male into the top of the accelerator pedal and then the male's plugged into the female on the one that we just installed on the harness, okay? So now we're gonna come back out, zoom out. I'm gonna show you this bit. That's all connected now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this cable around here, up out of the way. And we're gonna tuck it up there, bring it around the steering column. And we're gonna put one cable tie under here. You can find your best path for your cable if you want at home. But we're gonna put a cable tie here. Then we're gonna get our side cutters and cut the, the excess of that cable tie off. So you know your cable's tucked up up there. Run it up here. And we're gonna get the primer. Make sure you use the primer. So the primer, we're gonna tear it open, get the primer, and start cleaning this surface here. Okay, this will allow the double-sided tape to stick on there forever. So you won't have any issue in the Queensland sun or any sun around Australia. It will not fall off with the primer that we provide. It's completely different to alcohol. It's a primer which actually reacts with the double-sided tape and creates a very good adhesion. So then you're gonna find this on the Canon X. I normally stick it here on the base model. You can put it wherever you want. Find the best spot for you, make sure it's level because it will stick and stay there forever, it's nearly. You can remove it, but it is difficult. So I've stuck that on there now. That's all done. We're gonna get our cord. You're gonna run it up, plug the cord in, done. Then we're gonna get our other cable tie. It comes with three cable ties in the kit. Then you're gonna do a bundle of cables here and you get the excess. And I'm just gonna tie it onto this. Um, this is actually the cable for the push start button for the, um, for the cannon. Okay, so we're gonna tie onto that just so it doesn't fall down and get caught in your braking and accelerator pedal when you're driving along. This can be quite dangerous if things aren't installed correctly in vehicles, which I see all the time. But that's gonna be tied onto there, nice and neat. Then we're gonna cut the excess off. Okay, then what we're gonna do is get the panel, start plugging everything back in. It's one connector back in, clip this little alligator clip back on, back on there, plug your, your footwell light back in, it's plugged in. Then you're gonna get your connector for your headlight switch, plug all that back in. Pretty much plug in everything that you just disconnected. Okay, then you're gonna line this up. Now what I normally do is I tuck this cable in on this corner here, just nice and neat like that. Click that back in, just so it looks neat. And then we're gonna come over here, clip all this back in, all done. Get our three Phillips screws, put that back in here. One, and then you've got the second. Three screws back in where they belong. Pull this back again, get your trim clip, uh, get your little trim, put it back on here, line it up. That'll whack on like beautifully. Whack this back on, make sure all the trims all clicked in. And that's it. So now we're gonna show you how to, um, we'll go around there and we'll show you how to use it. Okay, now everything's installed. We are gonna run you through how to quickly use it. And it's quite easy. It's pretty much plug and play and we'll work straight away. We're gonna start it up. Comes up with our nice Savage Tech Australia logo. Currently in sport mode. You've got the mode button. Okay, that changes the screen, what display you want. Okay. Got all different screen settings, quite cool. Um, if you accelerate, it'll come up with a little graph. You can change the level that you want to use it on. That's how sensitive it is. So of what nine being the highest, one being the least sensitive. Okay. And then your different modes on it. So you can also go into the settings. If you hold the mode button, it'll go into 
you can change the language. If you're Chinese, you can change it to Chinese. You can change the brightness. Hit enter, currently it is on eight, which is the brightest. So default will be already on the brightest. And then you can also change the color. So you can change it to whatever color you want and you've got all different colors and that's pretty much it. And you can set the power off time, but just keep it default. It'll turn off when you turn off your vehicle, okay? Then we are gonna go out of this screen, hold this one, go back to the main menu and you're gonna adjust. You've got race, normal, comfort, eco, anti-skid, auto, manual mode, smart mode, parking mode, power mode, and then obviously you can change the, the cool screen display to show what you want it to, how the screen you want it to look. And yeah, you've got sport, race, normal, comfort, like a lot of different modes there. So yeah, you can just keep it on auto and it'll do what it thinks it wants to, what you need it to do. So it'll choose the best um, setting for you. But if you want it really sensitive, race is definitely the most sensitive. Anyway, so thanks for joining us. And um, if you want to order it, you can head to savagetech.com.au and purchase it online and we will ship it. This is available also for the Hubble H6 the Jolion, all vehicles we will have on our website shortly updated. Currently we only have the Canon on there, but they will all be updated. We will post videos shortly on how to install in all of the vehicles um, that we will be supplying it for. And if you're happy with, with us, like and subscribe, and uh, we're always adding new information and new installation videos. It's my goal this year to try and get you, the customers, the best videos we can. Thank you, peace out, have a good one.